Hi all. Uh, my name is Monit, and I am providing training for SAP GTS, SAP SD, SAP ABAP, SAP MM, and SAP FI as well. I have a uh, expertise in SAP in all these modules from last nine to ten years now, and uh, the main aim and the objective you can say with our online training program is that we are not just offering you the theoretical aspects or the practical but beside that we are also trying to cover the basic business process understanding and it makes sense because we all are working in an organizations for a, a different enterprises where whatever the configurations whatever the small projects or the rollouts we are working on we need to have a proper understanding of the business and if we are not having the proper understanding if we will not be able to think upon the new requirements which we can achieve through standard functionality plus through customizations the also thing which uh, we feel is without the proper business understanding we will be not able to memorize all those configurations we have to memorize it right we focus on memorizing each of the configuration but if we understand the business process how the business works what is the need of these sap modules how these modules are contributing in those areas we will not uh, need to memorize the configurations and you can think about all those things in a better way that is the main objective of our online training program which others does not focus much and which other institutes you will find lacking so whatever the areas that we are going to cover in sap gts all those modules or the or all those sub modules whether it is custom compliance or risk management plus connections we always try to link it with the day to day life examples and with proper business case scenarios which help you to analyze the things much better and will help you to understand the whole functionality of this sap gts module in a better way okay so welcome again all of you and let me go through the slides these are the agenda which we will be discussing in my coming videos as well and uh, where we are going to to provide you the introduction of the gts the settings that is required in the gts system the master data which we are which we are using in sap gts module and the compliance customs and risk management right so these are the three key modules and a very important one for sap gts before we move on our plan of covering the agenda and all those things we know we all know about sap sap right we all are almost familiar with SAP and maybe working with some other modules. SAP is a software, an ERP software, which helps business, uh, which helps running the business in a easier way. As ERP software is intended to do, it is not just the SAP, but we you can find various other software ERP softwares which are in market. But SAP is the most commonly used now and it is more compatible to the existing business requirements which the company go for that is why sap is in the demand and specifically if you talk about sap gts it is a niche model and it is a very high demand right now you will not get a good resource for sap gts as well as a trainer who can provide you a depth understanding in this module if you talk about sap gts it's a global trade service and 
like I said, it is an ERP software. It is a part of SAP. In SAP, we know about ECC, ECC box. So ECC is a, a box where we have a, each and every other modules, SD, MM, FI. But GTS is a standalone right now with S4 HANA coming on in future, which many companies are going for. The S4 plan is, S4 HANA plan is to uh, take this SAP GTS into the ECC. So the SAP GTS will be combined in the ECC box and you will be able to see all those options available for GTS in the same ECC. Right now it's an, a standalone system. Now what exactly is SAP GTS and why it is used? Why it is so much in demand right now? To understand that you have to think from the business perspective for any company who uses this SAP they are going to use this ERP software to to plan their resources plan their business process which the company is running in a better and efficient way and when we talk about any such businesses or any such companies, they involve in the sales process, SD module, sales and distribution. So they have to, uh, they have to sell their products to the customers. That is what the SAP SD module is. So from OTC also it is called. Uh, and it involves from sales order to billing cycle so when we sell the products it, it if it is in the domestic area then it's okay but yeah if we are selling it across the borders to different countries okay then we have to go with sap gts the sap sd alone cannot fulfill those requirements and why so let's understand that Okay, so what exactly is, is SAP GTS? So this SAP GTS mostly you will find it for those companies who are involved in international trade. Okay, when we say international trade, it means trade activities. happening across borders we will be more specifically across different countries okay so we understand that when uh, and most of the times you will find that many big organizations will go for SAP and they are mostly involved in such international trades okay so every company every organization want to expand their boundaries expand their business so they expand their trading activities by selling the products or buying it from different countries and that is most important need of day to day business process now it is right we all agree on that part but when we think from a broader perspective we will see there are various challenges that a company has to adhere to okay company has to adhere to various challenges when they are doing this export or import